what um, can you give us just the highlights of what you expect your message to be? Well, I'll talk to the players. I'll get it first. You know, well, things yeah, I, things we want to talk about. Uh, you know, things that work. Things I think we can learn from. And you try to cover a few things that you know you want the club to know. Um, more importantly, it's just great to see everybody. You know, to get the whole group together. Uh, you know, pitchers uh, been doing a great job here for four or five days, whatever. But you know, now we're we're ready to get the whole squad here. So, you know, I, I love the attitude. So it's going it's going to be uh, you know great to get things uh, kicked off here today. What did the world champions need to do better? Well, I think you always improve. Uh, try to improve in all aspects uh, ac aspects of the game. Sorry, um, you know what? Uh, you, you never arrive in this game. You're always trying to get better. So that that's that's ongoing. But uh, you're right. We did a lot of great things. But you know, there's always room to improve. Does that help? Kind of remind them that, that you know, to giving them things to improve that. We're back to reality here. Yeah. Well, it's it's new year. It's yeah, you know, it's a new season, and you know, hey, last year was unbelievable. There's no getting around it. That was some kind of ride, and but you do have to focus forward. Uh, uh, that's behind us now, and uh, you know, we'll savor these memories. But you know, we do have to you know, get ourselves ready for a, a new year. What do you want them to know about the? Burden of being of playing with the World Series title on the ground. Yeah, I don't think that's a burden. I, you know, that's talked about a lot. I, I don't, I don't buy into that. Uh, you know, I guess it's your mentality on how you look at it. But uh, you know, you go out there and you play the game the same way you've been playing. I, I don't look at us. Some people may look at us as a target. I, I don't. I don't. I'm hoping that we still look at other teams as a target. That's the way we want to approach it, and uh, you know that's going to be our mindset. Anybody not here yet? Everybody's here. Everybody's here. Have Speaking. you had a chance to talk? You haven't had a chance to talk to Adolis yet, have you? No. He he is this team's emotional heartbeat. Mm -hmm. You, you've been through players who have gone through the arbitration stuff before and everything. Where do you feel like you want him to be emotionally coming into this camp? Well, I think I can answer that better once I talk to him, but I just want him to come in with a, a great attitude. Like, we know Dolly. Uh, I did talk to CY. He's, he's already uh, had a chance to talk to him and said he's in a great frame of mind. I'm sure he's glad to have the, the contract thing done right now. He can focus on baseball, and uh, he's a huge part of this ball club. And uh, but we got we have to have them all in the right frame of mind. And I don't see any any, any reason why he wouldn't be uh, with what happened last year and where he's at in his career. Uh, Dolly, I think is set to go. But like I said, I need to talk to him first. You spoke of. Your team has some targets, teams that you're targeting. Would the Astros be one of them since they technically won the division? No. Even though you guys well, your goal is to win the division. No getting around it, sure. I mean, that's that's what you strive to do. makes life a lot easier if you can do that. But um, but you look at other teams in our division. I mean, Seattle's improved. And, uh, yeah, well, I, I, I think you look, even if, even when you uh, get deep in the season, uh, there's going to be a lot of good teams battling for that wild card spot. That's not our goal, but I'm just saying there's a, there's a lot of teams that uh, you have to beat that will could be a difference maker, and you get to where you want to go. And so it's all about not letting up on anybody. You know, I don't care who you're playing, and uh, so that's how we're going to approach it. This has been this has been mentioned a few times. You guys feel like you've left some some wins on. The off the board last year. Yeah. How, how, what is this team's potential? If, 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 uh, yeah. I think every team can say that. I think you can go back and look at other clubs, you know, they, but we did take some gut punches. No getting around that. Uh, um, you know, the bullpen we talked about, it got a little bumpy down there, but 
you know, what what I'm proud of, it, a lot was talked about our hitting, our pitching at the end, but you look at us defensively, we did a heck of a job. And so that works. And when you do have some tough losses, bumps in the road, I just love the way this club handled it. You know, part of being a really good club, a great club, is being resilient. And this club was as what's probably to me the best team in baseball last year when you look at what we went through between the injuries, the tough losses, and uh, they just kept bouncing back. What does day one mean to you? Do you still get the nerves at all? I, yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I'm excited. Yeah, I, I'm anxious to get it going, uh, see all the fellows, catch up with them. Uh, oh, it's a great feeling. Yeah, I don't think you – well, if you lose that, then it's probably time to move on, to be honest. But, no, I, I'm uh, – Amped up to get things going. You look like it. <laughs> you look like you're ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like short off seasons. Did I ever tell you that? I really like them. <laughs> you talk about resiliency. What, what do you recall after game five in the ALCS and going to Houston? What, what, this, what that was like for this team? Where it reached down to, to come bounce back the way they did in Houston. Just another tremendous example of how well this club bounced back, you know, from just falling short of winning another game, winning our division, ha having to go to Tampa and what we did on the road. Uh, uh, but that, I think, really told you what this team is about. They, they had a great presence about them, even presence. Yeah, we had goalie, we had guys that, you know, really um, at times can show emotion, but at, for the most part, man, they, they just kept going. They didn't, they didn't let things bother them, uh, you know, rank them. They just had that great way about them, and that works in the postseason. You know, they kept the confidence going. We had already won two in Houston, so we did it. We knew we could do it again. What's the, is there any changes on the on Corey? Is it still picking? No, I don't. Still mid-March till he amps up? Yeah, I think once we get in this a little bit more, we'll, we'll have a better idea when he will be ready. He's, you know, talking to him, he's, he's doing, he's doing well, considering where he's at. I mean, what he had done. Since we didn't talk to you, since you actually talked to the team, can you give us anything of what your message was now? We covered quite a few things, to be honest. Uh, you know, we talked about what worked last year and things we can learn from. I mean, we did a great job on some little things we wanted to do well, like the fundamentals, uh, how important they were. And we were the top team defensively, and uh, these are things that we want to continue to work on. Uh, you, know, you know, just how resilient they were. You know, that's going to be a big part of the game again. And covered some other things like keep between us, but uh, uh, you know, see why he said said some words. And uh, it's you know, just a time where you can connect with them and give them your thoughts on what you're looking for uh, as far as trying to get better. This is what this game's about. You know, you never stop trying to improve. You never arrive in this game. And, and it's great that we won. And, you know, we got to savor that. And don't ever let go of those memories. We just don't want to lean on them. It's a new year. It's a new season. It's a new race. So uh, now it's time for us to focus forward here and, and, uh, and try to get better and create another incredible year. You, you told us yesterday, right, that the idea of trying to repeat or, or shouldn't be a burden. You don't feel like it's a, did you? It should be an honor. I mean, did, is, is did, it, did you make yeah. a note of that? Oh, yeah, that? yeah, yeah. We talked about that. Yeah, it's a privilege. Uh, you, know, be, you know, be in a position where you can repeat. You know, it's hard. And, you know, you can't ever get away from hard work. And that's, that's never going to stop in this game. <laughs> Or 
participate in media day today? I did. <laughs> I brought on my best happy face I, I could bring in this morning at 6.15. How many media days is this for you? Gosh, well, 1975, just add them up there. 48 years, yeah. Oh, they they really did a great job this morning. It went quick. It, it might have been the quickest media day I've ever been part of. What was media day like in 1975? <laughs> I, well, I'll take that back. I think that was a couple pictures. <laughs> yeah. yeah, black and white. <laughs> Film, focus. Yeah, yeah. Got some pol uh, Polaroid action. <laughs> One of the things you, one of the little things you did well last year, um, that is a big focus of spring training, right? Is pitchers fielding. You guys yep. did a really good job. We talked about that. We did a great job. I think we're ranked fifth. Uh, they spent a lot of time on it. Worked hard, and you know, it did pay dividends because we we did a good job on it. Mike was here. Uh, Greg was here with Mike for a big part of that. Yeah. See, you expect him back this year. I'm going to call him today. Are you? Yeah, see if I can push him. I think he's on a trip right now. I didn't want to wake him up if he's where we think he is. Mike wasn't sure if he was there, but uh, I'm going to try to touch base with him just to make sure he knows we would love to have him here. He's more than welcome. It was a tremendous help. We got a guy that's won 18 gold gloves and talked about the importance of uh, doing a little peripherals that you need to do as a pitcher uh, is pretty valuable and coming from him. So, yeah, my hope is uh, he does stop in. If it's for a day, great, but hey, not, I get it. He's retired and enjoying life. But it made a difference. You felt like it made a difference. I made, you know, in no doubt in my mind it made a difference. You know, it did with him, whether talking in the meeting or running, the, you know, the rag ball drill and working on things out there, no doubt. Last year, you in the for the playoffs, you guys had some some guys who you taxi squad like like Duran, who was eventually needed, yeah. Jake Lads, guys who just stayed ready. What? How did they contribute to the ultimate goal there of winning the World Series? And it, it, and I know Duran played, but some of these guys didn't see the field. Um, well, I'll say this: uh, that just the fact how hard they uh, kept working. You know, it's easy to drop your guard. You're not on the roster. You know, to kind of go through the motions a little bit, but they never did that. I mean, you saw Latsy when he was thrown. He was locked in and, you know, working on, on uh, all his pitches, uh, uh, putting uh, some really quality work in, and Duran's uh, the same. I think they both knew that any moment they could get called on to happen with Duran, uh, but you know, that's, that's contagious, you know, that's just, you know, helping lead by example, whether you're a young guy or older guy, but going out there and doing things right. Last year you had um, a veteran non-roster guy in Jankowski in camp who didn't have a great camp, you know. Awful that. camp. <laughs> I told him that. And so somebody may have talked about wet noodles, but I'm not. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> He made the team, you know, I know there were some circumstances and all that, and he contributed significantly. You've got some other veterans here that have some track record who are on non-roster deals. Do you say anything to that group about, you know, how to approach this opportunity? I will uh, uh, at some point, yes, yes. I. I've been there, you know, when I'm trying to make a club, and so I, I, I'll i touch base with uh, some of these guys, you know, just to give you an example, Duffy, he played for me, and, you know, just want these guys, and, no, I know they're they're really good players, and um, so I don't want them to feel that every play or every bat's going to determine whether they're on this club or not. It's so hard to uh, perform like that at times. Uh, uh, because you're not playing with the freedom you need to. I think that happened with Jankowski last year, to be honest. You know, I'm sure there's a lot at stake. and Not that they can't perform under pressure, but that's a different type of pressure. And I told him, I said, 
Jane, I saw you a lot. You know, I, I know how good you are. And uh, but once uh, we got things settled, you just you saw him play you know, a lot more relaxed and uh, showing us the player that he is. Are there any of those veteran guys like I, you had experience with Duffy? Are there any of those veteran guys that? Because you just kind of gotten to know what you've got here that really intrigue you. That on roster. Player. Yeah. Well, not they not all do. I'll be honest. Right. They're here for a reason, so I, I can't not pick not. that one guy. But uh, no, they're all here, and uh, it's uh, it's great to have this kind of depth. You've already seen you know, Josh Young go down. You know, Corey, you know he's he's not available to play so anytime you have uh, coverage depth uh, all over the field whether it's on the pitching side or position side catching side we we got some guys with uh, major league experience behind the plate so yeah uh, but yeah I'm not gonna pick one guy because they're all here for a reason and that's because they can make us better and help us build in our success